Hallelujah. Continuation part two. Like um, people, um, for some odd reason, they've been seeking the darkness of this world, Satan. And what God just dropped in my spirit is um, evil always come before good. And the urge to seek Satan means that it will be a time that that urge is going to shift in the name of Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. Spiritual warfare. And what I had learned in the early walk with Christ is, I'm used to saying, if you go seeking for things, you're going to find it. And you don't knock on certain doors in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in His name. And not that I have a fear because the fear of the Lord is upon me. But what I learned was you do not mess with that demonic realm because uh, it's like it said you test the spirit by the spirit. And before I go any further, let me go into the word of God in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. And I'm coming from Matthews. And this is awesome. Because anytime you see double numbers, that means... It's a double portion and there's a shift in the, in the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. And I thank you, Father God, for the shift. Thank you, Jesus. I glorify God in this place. I just heard it. There's a shift because those who have sought, because see now that some feel like they, they have hit a, um, a connection with the darkness of this world in the name of Jesus. The shifting is going to take place and they're going to seek ye the kingdom of heaven first. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I glorify your name in this place. Mm, hey, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, my, my, my. I glorify your name in this place. And the word is coming from Matthew 12, 22 through 30. And I'm coming out of Revelation 12. Um, but a house that is divided cannot stand. And thus says the word. Then one was brought to him who was demon possessed, blind and mute. And he healed him so that he, so that the blind man, mute man, both spoke and saw. And all the multitudes were amazed and said, could this be the son of David? Now, when the Pharisees heard it, they said, this fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of demons, in the name of Jesus. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself will not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your son cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judge. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you in the name of Jesus or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his good unless he first bind the strong man and then he will plunder his house he who is not with me is against me and he who is and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad in the name of Jesus I glorify God in this place and before I go over to revelations 12 what I'm hearing God say at this very moment. People are seeking the darkness of this world. And a lot of them have done it and has done it in the past for uh, monetary value and uh, position of power and fame. And what God had taught me is that anytime a true believer begins to pray and and of the true believer that is anointed begin to cast down in the name of Jesus, cast down sickness in the name of Jesus, cast down every lie that has been spoken, or you begin to counsel anything in the realms I glorify God in this place what God says, what it does is because every lying is a spirit 
a sickness is a spirit, whether it be a fever, whether it be a toothache, whether it be cancer, whether whatever it may be, these are spirits that has gone on and has been roaming the realms in the name of Jesus. What God says, what they do when they go down into hell in the name, when they go down into the abyss in the name of Jesus, in the, to the chambers where Satan dwells in the name of Jesus, they go down in and they torment Satan in the name of Jesus. And whenever they begin to torment Satan, Satan is sitting there like, wait a minute, something ain't right. I don't know what's going on with me. So Satan began to penetrate realms and penetrate dimensions. And Satan began to, uh, and you'll be wondering why you're going through warfare. You, you begin to wonder why arguments is just breaking out uh, all around you. And you don't know uh, what's going on. Uh, it's basically like Satan has basically penetrated dimensions and realms. And he's picking a fight and he's trying to find holiness so that he can find out what is wrong with him in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father God, let it be clarity, not confusion inside this house in the name of Jesus. And it says, if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. So here lately, I just been seeing um, and having a lot of, of arguments and fighting inside the rams uh and what has been going on it has been it is the demonic realm that is fighting but it help me hold the ghost clarity come right now in the name of jesus thank you jesus there's confusion inside the realm and inside the house of God in the name of Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. Mm. And it says, a house of Satan, he is divided against himself and his kingdom will not stand in the name of Jesus. So whenever there's, it's like fighting over rulership and over position in the name of Jesus. Over truth in the name of Jesus is something I write. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. The the vision inside the house, whenever there's the vision inside the house and the demonic realm, Satan is trying to see what is and what will stand for what is right. Because whenever there's something wrong and he can't find it, then he'll go and seek it elsewhere in the name of Jesus. So that's the reason why there's bickering with inside the house of God and inside the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. And that lets, thank you God, something just as simple as that. And if you can't cast it out and you can't help him, then that lets him know. And he's saying, Beelzebub, you're not of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You're not of God. Because I came to try and test you. And see, that's why a lot of times a lot of evil and a lot of fighting come to try and test you, to test your spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Loose the word of God in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to come back to that, but let me go a little bit further. Now, because God sent me to give enlightenment about warfare and um, about spiritual warfare and the powers of the darkness and seeking darkness to commune with darkness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Well, God dropped in my spirit this morning. He took me over to um, 
Revelations. First he gave me Revelation, then he gave me the key, um, a house that is divided against itself will not stand, and why a house that is divided against itself will not stand, and why it is fighting that is going on in the realms. Um, in the name of Jesus. And this is what thus says the Lord. He took me to Revelations 12, 3 through 9. And this is um, where the woman is with child, was um, carrying the child in heaven and Satan being cast out of heaven. And why was Satan cast out of heaven? In the name of Jesus. God has given this to me before, but he's given me a new revelation about uh, the dragon before he was cast out of heaven. And it's going to make so much sense in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to give you my testimony. Revelation 12, 3. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his head. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth in the name of Jesus to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up to God and his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness where she was a has a place prepared by God at, that they should feed her there 1,260 days. And see, this is what God gave me the 120 days from. It originated from this scripture in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father God, that the clarity go forth and that the word go forth, that highly decrease and that the spirit of the living Lord increase. Fall fresh anointing in this place. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Revelation 12, 7 says, Satan, now this is what Satan was thrown out of heaven. And a war broke out in heaven, fighting again in the kingdom of God, in the name of Jesus. Evil against good, in the name of Jesus. Anytime, anything that comes to tread upon, hey, thank you, Jesus. The territory that God has ordained as his kingdom, um, there's always going to be a war, a fight, and a death. In the name of Jesus, I glorify God in this place. A war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. But they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. In the name of Jesus, glorify God in this place. So the great dragon was cast out once again. Anything that comes to steal, kill, and destroy, it can be cast out in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. And Satan can't stand when a true believer begin to cast out in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world was cast to the earth and his angels was cast out with him in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Some true believers and saints has been praying in the realms and has been casting out and um, binding up and sending back to the abyss of hell from which they come from. And anytime a true believer begins to cast up and bind, up, Satan is going to come because see, he has set up his terror, his his kingdom here on earth, and his kingdom is in jeopardy to be overthrown and shall be overthrown by the true believers in God's kingdom reigning here on earth in the name of Jesus because evil is only temporary in the name of Jesus. And here lately for the past couple of days, because stepping into stepping into my ordained call in the name of Jesus territory and principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness of this world is intimidated whenever a true believer and the saints of God begin to unite together. Because uh, God says um, the Jabez 
to enlarge your territory because that's what God does. He, he anoints his people, commission them, and prepare them to send them back out into the highways to take regions and to take territories and to take zones and to take cities and to take countries. In the name of Jesus, I glorify God in this place. So now Satan knows that his kingdom is at jeopardy to be torn down in the name of Jesus. So here lately, I've been hearing death, and death has been knocking at the door. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Father. Loose the word of God. Mm. First, confusion, you got to go in the name of Jesus. What God began, thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for order. Because people are seeking the powers of darkness of this world. You cannot go. You people people just think that they can just go and just call the darkness of this world. Or whenever you go into prayer, God is listening, but you're going to be tied and tried and tested on that very thing that you prayed about and that very word that you spoke about. And the same goes uh, with the powers of darkness. Whenever you go, because see, I'm trying, God, to keep you from endangering yourself and endangering those who are around you, uh, I have to give enlightenment about warfare and communing with the powers of darkness. If your spirit is not right, you got a lying spirit, and you call over to the powers of darkness or you call over to heaven and you lifting up prayers you're going to be tried and tested God is going to try and test you with that spirit that, that's why spiritual wickedness sits in high places in the name of Jesus to come and try and test you trials and tribulations to see if you're worthy to come up a little bit higher to see if God is ready to loose the, either loose anointing or loose um, that very thing that you pray for about and I'm going to get back to the powers of darkness in the minute, but I got to give it. What well, God told me in the name of Jesus, it's about like the tax collector. When God came in, him and Peter came into the county and the tax collectors, they had to pay taxes. It seemed a little different, but it's not. And they had to pay taxes. And God says, I own everything. Why? I don't have to pay taxes, but to keep from offending him, he says, go get it out the fish's mouth. And so Peter went and got it out the fish's mouth and paid them the very thing that came out their mouth and the very thing they needed, he gave it back to them in the name of Jesus. And God says, I make you fishes of men, but that very thing that you go out there and look for, just know that you're going to have to clean it in the name of Jesus. And that's about like the prayers whenever you lift it up, a lying spirit, or if your spirit is not right and you're being tied, tried and tested, uh, that very thing, it has to be cleaned in the name of Jesus before it can be profitable and used in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Confusion, you're not welcome in here. In the name of Jesus. And the very that goes to say with the very thing with the powers of darkness of this world. Whenever you go over there, and you begin to pray. Uh, or you begin to seek the darkness. And you begin to ask about certain futuristic things. Or um, certain positions and power and fame. To the powers of darkness in this world. In the name of Jesus. If you got an aggressive spirit. And if you got a lying spirit. Or if you got a uh, whatever spirit that may be that you have. That's going to be the very spirit that's going to come forth. And match what, what it is that is speaking into the realms it just uh, you want to test the spirit by the spirit in the name of Jesus I glorify God in this place and you go back over to Matthew and it says or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his good unless first he binds the strong man so you have to have something whenever you go and you do this you have to have something just as strong as you are to come at you that's the reason why thank you Holy Ghost you see a lot of uh, mimicking going on inside the kingdom of God because I, a man of God told me one time, that every level that you go, there's a there's a demonic force or there's a spirit to match the level that you go into. And thank you, Holy Ghost. I glorify God in this place. That's why I say you got to be cautious about seeking the um, 
darkness of this world because you don't know what you're calling for. Are you trying to commune with the dead? You don't know what you're doing. Just know they're resting and there's guardians around this ram. There's guardians around this gate. And if you don't think whenever you penetrate over there, you go over there and knock it, it's like a guard dog. You go over there in that territory, just cause it ain't came out yet, that don't mean it's not there. And so now you're wondering why so much chaos and mess is going on around you because you have penetrated, you have um, invaded a territory that you had no business invading and going around and you not have not you're not proper you're not consecrated you're not pure and you have not properly prayed over before you entered into that strong man's house and you have not binded nothing up before you entered over into that darkness of this realm in the name of Jesus thank you Holy Ghost loose the word of God thank you Father God tie this in in the name of Jesus thank you Holy Ghost now it says in the word his tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour see the dragon went to devour this child but before he went to devour this child because he already Satan already knew this is God's savior for mankind because the the uh the third of the stars represent the 12 tribes of Israel and Judah in the name of Jesus. Whom God was sending forth into the land. The Jew was set aside for himself to, and that's another thing. They were set aside to himself to basically learn and know the word of God. Because they was going to go back and preach to the Gentiles to teach them. It's not that the Gentile was not worthy, but God set this devout, holy um, sector of people to himself so that they would learn the word of God in the name of Jesus and know, basically, sit at his feet to go, to be consecrated, to go back out into the world with strength, power, and knowledge to give it to those who did not know it. In the name of Jesus, I glorify God in this place. But listen to what God says about this is what God is telling you. Whatever matching. Satan knew he was going to be kicked out. So before he even got kicked out, before he even started a fight with this woman to devour the child who was coming forth to save the nation in the name of Jesus, he threw a third of the stars out. You have to watch who it is that you in this time and season in your walk with God. You can't link up with everybody because everybody ain't happy about your walk in God. And they'll throw you down in the name of Jesus because they know that they're going down in the name of Jesus. They'll throw you up under the bus because they already know that they're going down too. But you won't go down before me. Misery loves company in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. So you can't link with everybody in this time and season. Say, I, I, hey, we, we ace boom coon. But I I can't, I can't kick it with you right now in the name of Jesus. Because you, whenever you go down, I'm going down with you. And the third the third of the stars, it said the tail just threw them down in the name of Jesus. Satan, help me Holy Ghost, is trying to outwit God. He's always trying to move ahead of God. To stop the plan and the prophetic word to keep from birth and forth truth in the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. That's the reason why he he went in, even though God was going to send forth the twelve tribes anyway. Satan threw down a third of the stars in the name of Jesus. And here it is. Here that light has been going through. And every time something happened, I get kicked out. I get kicked out of everywhere I go. And I'm like, I'm I'll be so mad. And that's when I mean, a lot of time my flesh just kick up. I get to myself and I I I, 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 I curse up a storm. And I say, God forgive me. And I hear God in my spirit say, see, it's still there. It was a time, it was a trying and testing for me. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Loose it right now in the name of Jesus. I get kicked out everywhere I go, not knowing that it was a demonic warfare 
going on around me. And what God allowed me to see this morning, he took me over to the scripture. And he's and, and I heard Satan. I was literally just going through the other morning. All of a sudden everything's fine and everything just shifted. And I was like, and, and they came to me and said, You're gonna have to leave right now. And I did not know at the time, trying to trying to discern in the spirit in the realm, that there was a war fair going on within the realm. So as I got home and I began to pray and I began to see, it still didn't let up. It didn't let up to like just a little while ago. And um, I heard in the realm, Satan said, uh, I got cast out. So if I go, you was going with me because there is a war and that Satan, well, the demonic realm is at war with the saints of God in the name of Jesus. And the trying and testing, it tries and tests me, but it's also trying to test them to see if they're going to test the spirit by the spirit and know that this is the spirit of the living Lord in the name of Jesus. I'm going to get there. I don't want to move ahead of myself. To see how they would treat whom is supposed to be a representation of Christ in the name of Jesus. Because the people that you are around, the people that you work with, they know that you are a minister. Or you're trying to, you're becoming and you're learning of it. And I have been done wrong. Satan said, I had to go, so you was going with me. And God took me over to that and he said, uh, he showed me where his tail threw down a third of And God, and not only was Satan, I heard God say in my spirit, because help me Holy Ghost the reason why because God already knew that he was going to send the 12 tribes of Judah ahead of time God, already, God said I already knew that I was going to send you back out in the name of Jesus and it, back out into the world in the name of Jesus so that you can come back come forth and whenever, because whenever you go and you come back and you come forth well, I sent you, some more is going to come out with you in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Even a lot of times, the enemy meant it for evil. And this is real life. But God meant it for your good at this time and season right now. In Revelation 12, whenever Satan whenever Satan got kicked out the other day uh, and, you, and he drugged you out with him, it was for a purpose and for my plan. Because whenever I went back, it was like a, a sudden stillness and a fear inside the building. In the name of Jesus, let me go on a little bit further. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. And it says, a dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth, to devour. Satan already knew that if this child, even though he knew it, it was not going to work, that's the reason why the war broke out and he already cast them, um, the third of the stars down because he knew he was getting put out in the name of Jesus. The reason why he was cast out because he went to, to devour the child of God because Satan knew he was trying to stop the prophetic time of Jesus coming forth into the earth realm and tearing down his kingdom. And this is where, at the very same time, you're testing the spirit by the spirit in the realms. Because Satan knew that God was going to come to stop him. That very, now in the heavenlies, he took his very same, the very same anointing and his very same spirit to stop Jesus. In the heavens, in the name of Jesus. Basically, the Savior of the world in the heavens, Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Satan was not trying to sit on the throne, but he was trying to stop the one who sat on the throne. Jesus was coming forth to stop him from devouring God's people 
So Satan in the heavenly realm thought that he would stop the woman of God in the name of Jesus. I hope that didn't fly over anybody's head. The spirit that you go forth with in the realms is the spirit that you're going to be met with in the realms in the name of Jesus. Is what God is wanting me to tell his people today. People is just going and they're just calling and they're just talking and they're just... And they're just thinking that they can just pull this out. And they're just thinking that they can pull that out. No, it don't work like that. You have truly have to know how you are walking into this realm. And who you, and, and what you are calling. And what you're trying to pull forth. Because you don't know what you're pulling forth. In the name of Jesus. Out of this darkness of this world. In this realm. And out of the heavenlies. Whenever you go to praying in the heavenly realm. And you're seeking God for a certain thing, or you're seeking God for a husband, or and another thing, that's what God says. You're seeking him for a husband. If you don't wait upon the Lord, just know, don't complain about what you get when you get it. Just sit there and you pray and you clean it. You clean you went fishing, you caught your fish, now you clean your fish in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. And that's what God gave me for the word the word of God, for the people of God. And I hope and I pray that there was not confusion in that. What God is trying to tell his people about spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare is an ugly realm. You can be met with death in this realm knocking on Satan's door. In the name of Jesus. And there's going to be a division and a separation inside of this what's going on um, in the realms and in warfare. There's going to be a breaking up and there's going to be a division. That's the reason why uh, Matthew 12 said, A house that is uh, divided against itself and the spirit is, and if the spirit is not right, and if you don't know, truly know who God is and how to discern in the spirit, some people that are supposed to be together won't be together. And some that that's not supposed to be together, but because my speech just shift in the name of Jesus anything demonic force foul spirit that is not like God Jezebel in the name of Jesus spirit of deception you're not welcome your Holy Ghost spirit of truth come thank you Father God angelic beings come right now stand in the gap as I finish this up I glorify God in this place spiritual warfare is an ugly realm and it's very ugly. And it's hard when you're interceding and people lack discernment. They lack knowledge of the Word of God. And you got skeletons in your closet. That's the very thing. That's, and that, and that's, that's the reason why healing and deliverance is hard. Or have y'all ever watched an exorcism? I watched the movie Exorcism. Or if anybody has ever been involved in a real exorcism. What they fail at is because uh, the spirit is not right. And those whom they're trying to deliver the exorcism over have not denounced have not denounced the evilness of this world and they have skeletons in their closet just like Christ is the pot in the clay he knows you down to the very hair on your head what you're trying to hide Satan knows about and he's going to use that very thing against you to, allow, to arouse your flesh and see, this is nothing that I've gotten out of a book. Nobody taught me this. This is my walk. This is this is what God. This has been 13 years of going through life, learning about warfare, engaging with Satan. This is my call, and it's not. And it has not been an easy call, especially when you're trying to. You have children. And you have been called into the prophetic and you have to intercede for them because a lot of times folks don't know what's going on with you. And you're trying to explain to them and a lot of times you can't explain to them. You just have to let them go. That's what God told me. He told me about my kids. He said, just let them go. He said, they're okay. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm like, I got to say that before before I go any further. I knew that was going to come up. Here lately, I just been hearing 
in the rounds. I'm going to kill your son. And this is what this is a warfare that's been going on in the rounds. And God is called down to Satan and says, Satan, I wish you would. I wish you would kill my son. And when God took me over to Revelation 12, and Satan went to devour the woman with child because God is birthing a ministry out of me and I know that they have a destiny uh, ahead of them. I know they're not supposed to die. And warring, when you war with a the spirit, they're in a seat. The devil is not theirs, but it's though we, as we walk through a valley, they're walking through a valley of the shadow of death. So death had tried to attach themselves to them because what had attached them. That's why you have to be cautious about who you are around, who you let minister to you. Uh, not meaning in the harm. I I told I said no. They can't. They can't. They can't sing. They can't sing. Go. Uh. Uh. No. Because it's the working of the flesh, and because they're not living right. Now I have to go in the intercession and I'm wondering why I'm warned. I'm wondering why I'm depressed now. I'm wondering why it's chaos and I'm wondering why it's confused. Because it is something in the realms. It is something that is connected to you that is living worldly. And it's a demonic warfare that they're going through. So now we're all going through. I can tell exactly when something is wrong with my children. Now it's getting to the point where it's like an automatic drawing. Um, not just for me and my kids, but in this in this uh territory that I'm in and it's, a, it's an awesome it's an awesome once you begin to learn about it but if you don't know about it not only now not only you agitated this better be recorded in the net not only you agitated but it's confusion going on you're trying to figure out what's going on with you and you have to constantly stay pray you have to constantly stay pray to constantly stay in the, in the word of God and know how to discern and look into the realms basically be a watchman on the wall not just for you but for everybody that's around you because it affects you you wonder why you go through and, and it's not even you that you're going through it's because there's a warfare going on in the rams and I don't want to keep sounding like a broken record but it is real it's awesome and I just uh, I pray for my people because people are seeking right now and a lot of folks think that oh uh, I can do this by myself or uh, I don't have to sit up under the man of God because I just got mad at my pastor here. This reason I, I ain't going over there. But I knew eventually God was going to chasten me. I couldn't move. And not only that, I still feel the warfare that he goes through, that my church is going through, that my kids is going through, everybody that is connected to me, and the third of them stars that were throughout when Satan's tail just automatically knocked them out. That's how I know Satan is in the midst, but it's the working of the flesh. And we begin to crucify our flesh and just lay lay it down daily. Take up your cross and follow Christ Jesus. And everything will come uh, into clarity. That's like I just said, if you've been in the church for 13 years and you're still doing the same thing that you've done 13 years ago, no, you're just practicing because I know you know right from wrong. You know right from wrong and you're just not applying. And you're not, not only you're going through, but you're taking everybody oh, that is connected to you through. So we are, we are our brothers and sisters keep. And like I said, I ain't praying for them. You gonna pray or you just gonna go through. So take your pick. And you and then once God has assigned you to somebody, you can't just cut them off and not pray for them because you wanna go through. And you're wondering why you're going through because God has put you over them. And you have to forewarn them what it is that you see that is ahead. Because if not, you're going to be held accountable. And I prefer to uh, just go ahead and let, even though I got an attitude about it, I pray to God forgive me. But I'm going to do what you said, dude. I'm going to tell him what you said. And you still have to constantly just war them until it, it, it's literally broken off. Because if not, you're going to go through. But be cautious about um, speaking into the realms, calling into the darkness of realm. Because um, your spirit has to be right. There's guardians in, there's guardians in these realms. There's guardians of these dimensions. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, principalities got guardians. Uh, powers of this world got guardians. And... Um, 
rulers of this world has guardians, and and, the, and those who are resting on the other side, they have guardians. Uh, so um, that's one of the things, the reason why we're going through um, in this world is um, because uh, my spirit is not right, and we're not allowing the men of God and the women of God who have been equipped for that to operate in their gifts. No, you just not finna just walk off the street. Uh, I'm 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 past I've I've been called. No, I now understand what it meant, cause I got my call over 13 years ago, and I understand why they say you have to know the word of God. And it took me 13 years to get to this point to where I have this in depth. In 13 years, I have been going. I have literally been going through for 13 years. I had a breakdown. I sat down. Christ set me down. I laid myself down. I rolled myself over and I took off running and, and, and Satan tried to put me on a high tail, but God brought me right back into this place to stand boldly in his name, to profess what thus says the Lord, to be a light in darkness. And I have to intercede for my family because I refuse to just sit there and I know, I know my family to let them be spiritually ignorant and Satan take advantage of them and I know the truth. Because I already know. If they know the truth, I, they, they coming. Hell and high water. And that's what the body of Christ, God has wanted his body to be. It's, it's nothing, to, it's not just for fame. You will literally be met with death. You will literally die. Or you will be literally, you will literally lose your mind. I don't take this lightly. I don't take this anointing lightly. I don't take this word lightly. But what thus says the Lord, spiritual warfare is an ugly is an ugly thing. You, have, you need to test the spirit by the spirit. Consecrate yourself and be purified. Let those who have been called and trained and equipped to do this so that this we can live in harmony and peace in this world. Because I felt the breaking. There's been a breaking in the in the atmosphere. Principalities is being torn down. Has been and is been and will be in the name of Jesus. Spiritual wickedness has been torn down, broken in the name of Jesus. It's, it's a, the, 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 it's, um, the ground is being breaking broken. It's, it's some tilling that's going on in the spiritual realm. In the name of Jesus, it's just like Matthew says that um, Matthew 12 says that um, you'll know when the kingdom come, whenever healing Satan, let me speak. Whenever healing begins to take place, the kingdom here is here on earth. And I know the kingdom is here. It's a war going on in the kingdom here on earth because anytime Satan, anytime a blue I've seen, I know some stuff has been cast down to the abyss and whenever Satan penetrates the rams like that God is in the midst God is in the midst it's a shifting in this end season of 2021 God said it, he said and after these 120 days within these 120 days some things is going to break off your life and what you had been warring with that's been warring against your destiny it will not be warned against you as it has been in the name of Jesus. And I have seen that happen in the name of Jesus. But Satan don't got no new tricks. So he's gonna try, he's gonna keep trying you with the same old thing until he make you stumble or you just it's like a thorn, it's almost a thorn in your flesh that, that penetrates the flesh and that make you fall on over. And it's like, okay, I surrender. But you're strong in Christ Jesus. Word of God for the people of God, kingdom, saying greetings in the season times. Y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, it's a wonderful time to just let God be God in your life. Lay aside the things of this world. Because it is peace in this kingdom. You're going to go through, but it won't be as harsh as it has been. Um, to lose to lose your life no to save your life you will lose your life and if you lose your, and if you lose your life you'll find your life in Christ Jesus to be reborn it means he's putting you in the kingdom he's put you in the kingdom and you just, he just you just find in your place know your place get in your place get up under your covering and let God be God during this Thanksgiving 2021 season on this last Green Day.